All right. Hi, and welcome to Transfer Talks. My name is Nellie Marcial. I'm the director of the Transfer Center at Trenton College. Today we have Michelle Sabasco, Juan Gonzalez, and faculty from Governor State as well as Trenton College to talk to you about the opportunity to complete a bachelor's degree in criminal justice at, the, at Triton College through our university center. Thank you everyone for being here today and we look forward to learning. Thank you so much, Nellie. We are glad to be here and we appreciate that you're hosting us. So GSU has been partnering with Triton College for over a decade. Um, to offer GSU courses at Triton College. And today we're going to talk about GSU's Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice. For today's conversation, I'd first like to introduce Mr. Greg Katina, Triton's Criminal Justice Program Coordinator, and he is also a retired police sergeant and a GSU alumni. Hi, Greg. Hi, good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, Yes, my name is Greg Katina. I uh, spent 25 years in policing uh, before I retired a couple of years ago and started teaching full time at Triton College. I am a, a I do have my bachelor's degree from Governor State, as Michelle said, uh, and I chose Governor State for a lot of reasons. Even before this program was in place, uh, I got my bachelor's degree about 20 years ago. The affordability of Governor State to me was first and foremost because I was someone who's paying for my education myself. At the time, my department did not pay for any higher education. Uh, the convenience of Governor State, uh, before there was the remote location at Triton College, I could take classes on campus and I also took classes at the University Center at Lincoln Way High School. So that was a big advantage as well. I didn't have to drive necessarily all the way to, um, you know, to University Park for the classes. The thing that I liked about Governor State was that it was a small school. I don't. I think the largest class I ever had there was 40 students, but the average class, probably in that 20 student range, which is pretty amazing for a four-year university. I mean, I talked to friends at other four-year schools that you know, 150, 200 people in a lecture classroom with a, a professor and teacher's assistants, you know, graduate assistants. That, that's not the education I wanted. I wanted more of that one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's why a lot of our students from Triton seek Governor's State as the place to go. Smaller classes, affordability. Um, the program, they will take virtually every one of our classes from our Associate in Arts or Associate in Applied Science and to me, that's a huge benefit because a lot of students will start the program not really sure what direction that they want to go. Are they interested in being police officers or corrections or federal agents at some point? And the first thing that I tell them is if, if that's what you're interested in, you need to move on and you need to get your degree. You need to get a four-year degree. So to me, that's a huge benefit for our students. And the fact that Triton offers these classes on campus where the students kind of don't have to leave the comfort of their own home, so to speak. You know, they're used to coming to Triton College every day for their classes, and now they're just going to shift from day classes maybe to night classes for the for GSU uh, criminal justice courses, but there is some familiarity there, so it makes them feel a lot more comfortable. We even have uh, my, my colleague teaches for Governor State also, so they may have had her for a class class or two with us, they move over to Governor State, they see a familiar name, and I know it, it takes some of that pressure off, and uh, it's, it's really rough for some of our students, you know, a great many of our students are first-generation college students. You know, we are what's called a Hispanic-serving institution. A lot of these students never thought that college was going to be for them, and suddenly the, the whole world just opens up. So, you know, I'm a, I am a big cheerleader for Governor State. When Michelle comes into our classes, and she comes in at least three times every semester and talks to our classes, sometimes she just sits, she can just stand there and I can sell it for her, you know, because I really am a believer in it. I think that um, it, there's, there's a huge benefit for our students. Thank you so much, Greg. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a great opportunity. And for first generation students like myself, this is just 
the way to go. I'm also an alumni too, so I speak from the heart also. I'd now like to take a moment to introduce you to GSU's Criminal Justice Program Coordinator, Dr. Danny Cortese. Hi, Danny. Hi there. Hello, uh, students that are, prospective students that are coming in. Yes. So um, I wanted to talk just a brief moment about what you can do with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. So there's some obvious careers, right? Police, law enforcement, uh, corrections, wanting to work in, in the courts. And these tend to be what students see in the face of it. They look and say, oh, I want to go and get a vocation. This, want, this is my career. I'm going to go specifically into these courses. Um, but what's important for us to, uh, for students to understand is that the perspective that faculty take is to look at it on the hands-on approach, of course, where you learn the technical skills that you need for these types of careers. But there's also a theoretical and a research component that students may not think that they're actually doing, which prepares them really well for things like law school, prepares them for graduate school, prepares them for social services. And we often don't think about criminal justice, but the word justice in there specifically says what you're looking for. You're looking for a broader justice. So while Governor State University does focus on the techniques of criminal justice, it's really looking at a broader social justice. So with that in mind, there's also careers of working in with the concentration of restorative justice, which is a type of, of of justice um, system where the fact where the the person who does something let's say wrong or against the social norms has the opportunity to go and learn from that through a conversation with with the the harmed person so this is really interesting because rather than just incarcerating people left and right it allows someone to actually learn from their mistakes and then move forward and then turn around, look behind them and pay it forward. Say you now can go learn these techniques. So that's a really interesting concentration that we have. And with that, you can actually work in advocacy. And I think that's important if you're a part of social justice or nonprofits or anything, you are learning the skills, techniques and research techniques and theories to help apply that in those positions that you look at may not be on your radar. That's so cool. There, there are so many opportunities and thank you so much, Danny. Sure. I know that over the years I have learned in just working with police departments and so forth, that they're looking for recruits with bachelor's degrees too. But I love the idea of, you know, going from this degree into law school or into a graduate degree. So really cool. At GSU, we make it easy to transfer, and my colleagues are uh, my colleagues and I are here to help you with that process, and a great program to help keep students on track to seamlessly transfer is GSU's dual degree program, or DDP, and of course scholarship. Juan, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely, Michelle. Uh, the dual degree program is for students who have completed their first semester at Triton College and are full-time students and are also thinking about transferring to GSU or any other four-year institution. When you enroll into the dual degree program, we will look into your transfer options and we will create a personalized study plan to help you meet all those prerequisites before you're transferring. DDP also guarantees students acceptance to GSU. They lock in their tuition rate. And we also, get, we also offer two amazing scholarship opportunities, the DDP Promise and Honor Scholarship, which are exclusive to DDP students. In addition to the DDP scholarships, GSU offers many other scholarships, including the AIM High Scholarship. When you finish your associate's degree with a 2.75 GPA or above, you're qualified for the AIM High funding. These scholarships can also be combined with many other amazing scholarships that we offer at GSU. Michelle, what criminal justice classes will we offer at Triton this fall? Oh, I'm so glad that you mentioned that. That's a great question. So this coming fall at Triton, we're going to be offering four classes. Um, usually our classes meet in the evening. Um, and so we have two different time slots, 4.30 to 7.20 or 7.30 to 10.20 p.m. And each class only meets one night a week. 
Um, this coming fall, we'll have the Junior Seminar in Criminal Justice, and this is kind of your transition from your associate's level courses into your bachelor's level courses, so it makes it a nice seamless transfer for you. We'll also have a Foundations of Restorative Justice. So back to what Danny was just talking about, there are some restorative components in this degree program. So this is a great class to help get you some more footing in that topic. We'll have a Criminal Justice Management class and a Theories of Crime and Deviance course. We really have taken the time to carefully plan out these upper division starting classes with student success in mind. Greg and the team at Triton really did make sure of that. And we work with Greg all the time. Greg, mute, you're on mute. Uh, I think that that is a, a, a huge benefit for students is that we do work hand in hand with our partner universities to make sure that the classes that they take at Triton College become a one-on-one -on -one transfer directly to Governor State. Again, so many of our students are first-generation college students. They can't afford to take a class that is not going to be beneficial for them at, at the bachelor's level. So we're very careful about the classes that we've selected. When we create a new class, I will send that information to Michelle so she can send it to her people and say, what do you think of this class? Is this something that, that will transfer later? So there is a, a thought process that goes into this because we want to make sure that it is a seamless transition from your associate's degree to your bachelor's degree at Governor's State. Excuse me. Thank you so much, Greg. <coughs> As you can see, there really is a great team behind your success at Triton and at Governor's State University. We want to invite you to please reach out to Nellie from the Transfer Center at Triton or reach out to myself or to Juan to help you get on board, to help you get started. We are here to help you and we want you to be a part of the GSU family. We are offering a special application fee waiver code for you. So if you'd like some more information, please reach out to the contact information displayed on your screen. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. See Thank you, you everyone. I mean, I think one of the things that we really appreciate about this program and this partnership is that there's a lot of assistance, both at Triton and through Governor State. But more importantly, you can see the many uh, types of access that this opportunity can provide to students. So uh, students, if you have any questions, please feel free to follow up with either the Transfer Center, Michelle, Juan, uh, we'll put you in touch with uh, the next steps. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much.